Planned Parenthood of Indiana was in federal court today hoping to stop the state law that bars it from receiving Medicaid funds. News Channel 18's Alex Dyra was there at the hearing in Indianapolis today and brings us continuing coverage this evening. After close to two hours of arguments in federal court from ACLU attorney Ken Falk representing Planned Parenthood against the state of Indiana, there is still no answer to Planned Parenthood's defunding question. President of Planned Parenthood Indiana Betty Cockrum says she's hopeful Judge Tanya Walton Pratt will grant the health care provider the injunction it needs to continue offering services to Medicaid patients. We would love to see a ruling by June the 20th so that we don't have to make that very tough decision to, to disassociate our patients from Planned Parenthood services. Cockrum says if there is no injunction decision by June 20th, then several of the Planned Parenthood clinics across the state will be forced to shut their doors. She says the one here in Lafayette, though, will not be one of those. I think the Lafayette Health Center is, is in pretty solid shape. And again, um, we, we're concerned that we would have to close these health centers. We'll do everything we can to avoid it. The state argues that the answer to receiving Medicaid funding again is easy. Planned Parenthood should separate their women's clinics from any abortion clinics. Indiana Right to Life Representative Sue Swayze says this is exactly what the pro-life community would like to see happen. They can provide women's health services and not miss a beat, and then they can have, uh, you know, abortions are us in the, on another place. If they would separate those cost centers, separate those operational costs. That is what we'd be looking for. The struggle between Planned Parenthood and the state of Indiana has grabbed national attention. The U.S. Department of Health and Human Services has told the state the bill is illegal because it stops Medicaid patients from receiving services from their provider of choice. Swayze says there are other provider options for the women of Indiana. Why is it that with government-provided health care services, we're so, we're, we don't want them to have to change providers? This, this, this is the state providing you know, health care too, just like any other health care plan. In fact, Medicaid has become more portable. Judge Pratt says she will be handing down a decision no later than July 1st. Cockrum says this is past the provider's deadline and could mean Planned Parenthood would shut the doors on eight of its Indiana facilities. If the injunction isn't granted, the state could also lose millions in Medicaid funding. Alex Dyro, News Channel 18.